Here we are at the Alexandra Lookout. Weather's not too great this morning, but it should fine up a bit later on. So it appears that the Jumbalba boardwalk is mostly close. I think it's just 50 meters of this and it's pretty wet. So I don't know if I'll be able to do any longer hikes because it'd be way too muddy. And I haven't got any good hiking shoes with me, which was a bit of a mistake. Oh, looks like this is as far as the track goes. So I went, out, went for a little bit of a walk up this creek. This one's just past Noah's Creek. I'm actually kind of running out of things to do here, unfortunately. I've got the whole day left. It's only 11 o'clock and I need a few more things to do. I don't really want to be paying for tours, especially since I've already done a couple of them here the first time I went here. The treetop walk looks interesting, but $30 for a treetop walk when I've done plenty of treetop walks before is a bit exorbitant. The one at O'Reilly's is completely free. A bit later on, we're gonna go for a little walk down one of the beaches, but I'm waiting for the tide to go out a bit. I actually got lucky enough to see a cassowary last night at my campsite. So I'm staying at the Crocodilus, uh, it's a bit of a safari camp, I guess. Uh, you've got your glamping tents, it's pretty cool. Very simplistic, it's probably the cheapest place here, which is why I went for it. Unfortunately, a lot of the accommodation around here is pretty dear. But we're off to Cairns tomorrow, I got some cheaper accommodation there. It's got everything I need to live off. Uh, this one is Thornton Beach. Just have a quick look. I'm gonna go for a beach hike later on today. Look at that wind. How's that for some wind? Man, it's even more gusty than last time. Yeah, that's a beach. This beach is part of Cow Bay, but it's right up the northern end. So if you're wondering how I got here, let me tell you. So the journey started off heading towards the south, actually. I did some rock hopping, but we didn't actually get too far. Off on a little walk, we're back at Cow Bay again. I'm kind of running out of things to do here, unfortunately. We're going to go for a walk this time. We're going to go that way. Could be interesting. I might not get very far with those rocks, but we'll see. Run and jump. Big jump, mate. Big jump. Someone's got a little survival shack. It's cool. How are these rugged coastlines? Pretty crazy. I reckon this would be a pretty cool spot to be if the weather was half good. So I've made it out to these jagged like rocks. I don't think I'll go much further than this. Who's walked on rocks like that before? They're not much fun unless you've got proper fishing rock shoes. Yeah, I'll end up slicing up the shoes that I'm wearing right now. So that, we decided to try our luck heading north. And that's when the walk gets really interesting. One, two, three beaches. This is the third one and it's well worth it. I'm now heading north to see what's down this way. Fortunately, couldn't get too far the other way. But we'll see how we go going this way. This is cool. Little pathway through the headland and then onto another epic beach. You do not want to go swimming out there at all, full stop. Forget about the crocodiles. It's your box jellyfish, your irukandji. Like, there will be crocodiles out there. It's a lot rarer than up in the estuaries. But trust me when I say 
you don't want to get stung by one of those guys. They will ruin your trip. I'm not even sure if they kill you or if they just put you through excruciating pain. I'm not too sure if you can walk through here or whether you go over the rocks. I'm not too sure if there is anything more past this point, but I haven't got much else to do for today, so we may as well go have a look. We might find ourselves a nice epic private beach. Here we go. Made it to the third beach of Cow Bay. So you wouldn't be able to make it to this beach at high tide, that's for sure. The tide's well and truly out now. But check this out. Private beach. I'm not too sure if you got through the bushland, but this is very cool. Just check this out. So one thing I will say is that to walk from there to there, it's the first two beaches are pretty easy, but it's the third one. You gotta do a bit of rock hopping. You'd only be able to do it at low tide. So I just left Crocodilus where I was staying at the Dane Tree and I'm off to Mossman's Gorge right now. Check out this epic beach behind me that I found on the way back through. It's absolutely stunning. You've got to love the far north tropics. Over there is the Dane Tree. That's where we were the last couple of days. And we're headed that way. So that's towards Cairns. I tell you, the weather's a lot nicer today, that's for sure. We're definitely about to do some fishing at Cairns. So I finally made it out to Rockland Gorge. It's pretty dear to come up here actually, 14 bucks to get the shuttle bus up. It's definitely worth it, look at this. And I've turned off one for the main circuit track, about an hour and a half. They say it'll allow for this walk, so probably more like 45 minutes. Pretty easy going so far. Yeah, this massive strangler fig. It's absolutely huge. Love all the jungle perch that are just sitting right there. Never get over just how crystal clear all these creeks are up here. It seems no matter where you go in Australia, you'll always find wild pigs. At least that's what it looks like. Saw wild pigs in the Dane tree, so they're there. I never thought wild pigs would be in the rainforest, but clearly they are. Save this fig tree, stay on the track. Yeah, I don't think there's any saving this fig tree anymore. Would have been an absolute massive tree when it was alive. It must have been taken down by a cyclone. How's the water flowing down here? Mossman River Gorge. You can never get over just how crystal clear the water is, it's ridiculous. It really is an amazing creek, this one. Well worth the walk. Like, you just cannot, you cannot get over how crystal clear the water is. All these massive boulders that it flows through. Well, that'll probably be the last lookout for here. I'm gonna go head up to Mariba, check out a, maybe a couple walks. Come out to the Emerald Falls section of Atherton Tableland. Pretty keen to check it out. It's supposed to be some really good swing holes here. I can already see a couple down there. And there's a waterfall up the end of this. About 32 degrees, one, one o'clock nearly. So yeah, it's getting hot. How's the change of scenery from Mossman Gorge? Totally different up here and it's only like an hour away. Mossman Gorge is absolutely awesome. But yeah, we're, we're just east of Mariba right now. I just went for a quick swim down in the creek just to cool off. It's right down there. Uh, I'm gonna try and finish this walk. There's no way it's gonna happen in this heat without having a little dip first. I can see the waterfall. That looks absolutely sick. At first I was like, nah, there's no way I'm making it that far, but it's not that far at all. Little arrows on the ground pointing in the right direction. Check this out. Holy moly, this is cool. Everywhere you look, the water's just cascading down over flat rocks. Finally found my own little private pool. How cool is this? 
So I don't have a lot of time because I still gotta go get some food when I get to my accommodation, but I'll go for a swim in here and then we'll head off. How was that waterfall at the top there? That was insane. I was not expecting that in the slightest. There's a lot of current. See how far I can get up to the waterfall. Mate, the current here is crazy. Yeah, you gotta pick your swimming spot for sure because not every spot's very safe. I was looking for a nice calm spot that I could get into. So I'll be able to get out of it easily. It's fine swimming against the current when you're not trying to get out. But if you're trying to get out and that's your only way out, then you're screwed, aren't you? That's what the top spot was like. Like that's the waterfall I've got right in the swimming hole. It's crazy because there's tons of swimming holes just like this one. You don't have to look too hard to find them actually. Is this for a little roadside view? So I just went out to see Byron Falls this morning. It's pretty awesome, a little bit of water, not a lot. It sure be cool to go see it in full flood. But... So if you're wondering where I am, I'm currently at the Binder Boulders. It's an absolute sick little swimming spot. That brings us to the end of our video up at Cairns. And if you guys enjoyed it, I suggest liking and subscribing because we're going to be going to the Wit Sundays next week.